Hello, we are going to solve this radical problem. We have square root of x divided by x equals 5. So, we are going to consider using two different methods. So, let's start with the first one. We can divide this by 1 and we cross multiply. Meaning that the square root of x will multiply 1 and the x will multiply 5. So, root x times 1, we have square root of x. And this equals x times 5. We have 5x. So let's try and eliminate this square root. And for us to do that, we take the squares of both part of this equation. Now, if you have square root of a raised to the power of 2, this will give you a because this square root here comes with the square here. So that's exactly what will happen here. The square root here, eliminate the square here. We have x equals, for this case, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So we apply this same identity here. We have 5 power 2 times x power 2. So from here, we have x equals 5 power 2, that is 25 times x power 2. So what we are going to do will be to multiply this out. We have x equals, this is 25 x power 2. We can simply move this x over here. So we are going to have 0 equals 25 x power 2 minus x. So if we rearrange this, we are going to have 25 x power 2 minus x equals 0. So right here we can factor out x. We have x times, if you divide this by x, you have 25x minus x divided x, you have 1. And this equals 0. So at this point, you can have x equals 0. Or you have 25x minus 1 equals 0. So if x equals 0, this is solved already. If you want to solve this one, you simply move this negative one over here. You have 25x equals 1. From here, you solve for x by dividing this by 25. You also divide this by 25. So what happens is that 25 eliminate 25, we have x equals 1 divided by 25. So in this particular method, we have two different solutions, which are x equals 0 and x equals 1, 25, or 1 divided by 25. So the next thing we are going to do is to solve this same equation again. We have root x divided by x equals 5. Now, let's start by using this identity. If you have square root of a, this equals a power 1 over 2. So, that means square root of x equals x power 1 over 2. So, what we are going to have will be x power 1 over 2 divided by x equals 5. Now, if you have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, this equals a power n minus n. Now, this x is raised to the power of 1. So, we are going to subtract the exponent because we have division sign here. Now, we are going to have x power, this is 1 over 2, minus 1. And this equals 5. So from here, we are going to subtract this 1 from 1 over 2. We have 1 over 2 minus 1. This is our 1. We find the common LCM. The common LCM is 2. 2 divides 2, 1. 1 times 1, we have 1 minus 2 divides 1, 2. 2 times 1, we have 2. From here, you have 1 minus 2. This is negative 1 over 2. So right here, 
we have x power negative 1 over 2 equals 5. Now we are going to solve this x power negative 1 over 2 equals 5. In order to solve this, what we are going to do will be to raise each part of this equation to the power of 2. We have x power 1 over 2 is raised to the power of 2. This equals 5 raised to the power of 2. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So you are going to multiply this exponent out. You have x power, this is negative 2 divided by 2. This equals 5 power 2, that is 25. Now from here, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. We have x power negative 1. This equals 25. So if you have a power negative 1, this equals 1 over a. So you have x power negative 1, that is 1 over x. And this equals 25. And this 25 is over 1. We find the common LC, um, we cross multiply. We have x times 25, that is 25x equals 1 times 1, we have 1. So from here, we divide this by 25. We divide this by 25. So, 25 eliminate 25, we have x equals 1 divided by 25. Now, in this other method, we are having x equals 1 over 25. While in the first method, we had x equals 0 and 1 over 25. So the next thing we are going to do as usual will be to check for each of these. We have check, we have x equals 0 and x equals 1 over 25. We are going to plot in these values for x. We have square root of x divided by x equals 5. So x is 0, so we are going to have square root of 0 divided by 0 equals 5. So from here, square root of 0 is 0 divided by 0 is it equals 5. Now 0 divided by 0, this is undefined. And this is not 5. So, so this shows that this 0 div 0 is not the correct solution. Now let's consider when s equals 1 over 5. We are going to have, this is, square root of x divided by x equals 5. So we have square root of 1 over 25 divided by 1 over 25 equals 5. Now, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So from here, we apply same here, so we are going to have this like the square root of 1 divided by square root of 25 divided by 1 divided by 25. Is it equals 5? So right now, you have square root of 1, this is 1 divided by square root of 25. This is 5 divided by 1 divided by 25. Is it equals 5? Now, if you have a divided by b divided by c divided by d, this is my a, this is my b, this is my c, this is my d. This equals a divided by b times d divided by c. If you have this, that means we are simply going to have 1 divided by 5 times 25 divided by 1, and this equals 5. 
So you multiply the numerator 25 times 1, this is 25, divided by 5 times 1, that is 5, and this equals 5. 25 divided by 5, this is 5, and this equals 5. So the only correct solution right now is when x equals 1 over 25. So that is it, guys. This is how you can solve it now. For us to recap, what you need to do is you can solve it using two different methods. You can either cross multiply or you convert this to this form. Then you take the squares of full part of this equation when you cross multiply. Then you factor out and you can easily solve for x. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.